up guys welcome back to the channel so today is the big day dyno day so uh car's ready hopefully fingers crossed we uh got everything figured out so uh since my trailer's not insured and uh registered and everything yet i'm going to be heading over to the dyno with mike from one motion garage he's letting me use his trailer so i'm about to go meet him at his shop unload his trailer and then we're going to be heading over to my shop loading up the car and then we're off to dyno so stay tuned Just got to one motion garage to help Mike unload his uh, trailer and then we're going to be going to my shop to load up mine all right and trailer and we're off to my shop.
Okay, so we got the car loaded on the trailer. I got everything packed up that I need. We got extra fuel. I brought oil and a filter to do a change after the break-in period. I got the all the wastegate springs in case we got to switch anything. Right now the 15 pound springs are in there, so hopefully that's good for what we want. If not, we can change them out. I got uh, some extra coolant just in case we have anything wrong with the uh, you know the coolant system, how it was bled or whatnot. Uh, I got some, just a couple tools in case we got everything, jack, uh, oil drain pan, so I think we should be good, so we're off. Just on time, so stay tuned. Okay, we have arrived at Evans Tuning. We're here. Now, we're a little early. Uh, our appointment was at 11, it's 10.30, so he's still finishing up a car in there. So we're just kind of hanging out. He knows we're here. So probably in like 10 minutes or so, we're gonna start unloading. And then, uh, and then let him work his magic.
Mission success. Just got back to my shop. Got the car unloaded. Back in my shop. Mike headed back to his his shop. He's got a few things he got to finish up today. So overall, the day was completely successful. We made 567 horse and 479 foot pounds of torque at 15 psi. Evan said the motor, you know, tuned up perfectly, sounded amazing, and uh, everything went super smooth. He didn't run into any issues. Now at first he had, I think he said he had like 12, uh, 12 degrees of timing set up and in first pull it made 540 horse and everything was like good. So he just did a couple more, couple more uh, pulls just to check everything and he added, uh, I think he said he added 2 degrees of timing so it was up to 14 and that added a little extra horse and we ended up with about 570. So uh, the only thing, the only issue we ran into was my brand new AEM map sensor was, is defective or whatever. The computer wouldn't recognize it. It was saying it was reading like five PSI at, you know, at, at idle or whatever. So we just ended up using the um, Haltech Elite onboard map sensor to do the tune. But he said, you know, once I get the, a new one and hook it up, he said the, you know, as long as you put in the right calibration values, everything should be fine. So I'm gonna get one of those ordered up and we should be good to go. So next, next we should have some burnout footage or some donuts or something. We'll see, probably do something in this parking lot. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned. The fun's about to begin.